Hey everybody, it's Jean, and I am getting ready to put together um, the outside of a magazine that I've been working on, and uh, today I was um, just kind of soothing myself after this horrible uh, shooting that there was here in Dayton, and I just decided to um, put together all the full-page um, pictures that I've pulled out of magazines and, and just glue them into a magazine. And uh, I had this large Harper's Bazaar, and so I just um, just started playing with that, and uh, I, I started really enjoying it. And I kept working and working, and it was just really, um, really fun. Um, I had uh, that I put, uh, I love August instead of we love August. And uh, started um, covering up uh, the things I didn't want to see. I don't want to see Louis Vuitton. I don't want to see advertising. I don't want to see um, a lot of print. I just want to see the pictures that I've pulled out that uh, that I think are interesting, that the models look fascinating to me, or the outfits, or something something about that that's caused me to pull those out because I don't pull out every picture, but um, and some of the pictures. I didn't put anything over because I loved the pictures that they had here. So all I did was cover up the advertisements and all and that with the pictures that I had already pulled out from other magazines. So um, I just love this. Now the, the blue picture is kind of uh, with the girls. They're all the same girl, but there's just so many of them. And it's just... Um, it was just an interesting concept to me. And I thought, well, you know, I'm going to, um, I didn't take time when I was first gluing to cover up some of the prints and things like that that were there. So that's what I'm going to go through and do now is I'm just going to cover up what I don't like, what's, what's been left on the page that wasn't um I was working out in the living room instead of in the art room and uh just because I happened to have all those I had happened to rip up a magazine uh and I harvested so many large um like like these full page um that I just I just didn't want to I I just didn't want to cover them cut them up uh, they're very colorful and they would have added a lot of color, but I just wanted it. I thought, well, why can't I have a magazine with all the pages in it that I like and none of the advertisement, none of the stories or text or, or anything. So that's what I'm making here. I'm just making a magazine that I'm going to like to flip through and see nice big pictures. So... As I was working, I um, was so quiet. I thought, well, I need to do a little voiceover instead of, um, instead of you listening to long silences, <laughs> because I would just get so um, involved. But um, these are the pages. Uh, these are the pages that I was working on, and I, I, you know, I, I didn't like that. I didn't want to do that. And I thought, really, do I want to cover up the skinny? No. I want to cover up the Levi's. So let's um let's see how to do that and see what that looks like. So we'll um cut a piece and just cover that up and there we go. We'll leave the skinny. And I love the lady on the left. I love her shoes. I love the colors. Um, I just thought that was uh, that was great. Just to me, that was fabulous, just like it is. 
Now, I also cut out that one lady. Um, it's going a little fast. <laughs> because it took me forever to record this. Um, so I thought, well, as long as I'm doing a voiceover, I'll go pretty fast through this. And um, I think we're going to go back through these pages again. Several times, just because I was going back and forth. But, yeah, you can just kind of look at the look at the pages as I'm flipping through them. And kind of appreciate each one. Oh, that one's got a little bit of a wrinkly look. That lady right there, uh, the two that are together, the one on the left, she looks very familiar to me. Yeah, that one that I just pointed to. <laughs> she looks so familiar. And I think she's uh, she was in a TV show or something. And I just love how the one is standing on that perfume bottle and her dress is blowing. And I just love that. And then the girls on the other page have such fresh, clear skin and... Uh, lightly freckled and just seems so pretty and I love the lady standing there by her um, by the water I mean just just every page just seemed fun uh, this one I glued together so many places I had a lot of um, a lot of cracks that I just or torn pages that I had places I wanted to cover I'm not a real purse fan. Um, I don't love purses. But I did like these. These, both of these. And I like the, the model. So. I don't know. I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, hanging out, having fun with this. And, uh. this page I really didn't know what to do with because I like the jewelry I love emeralds doesn't everybody just love emeralds that would look nice on that page but I couldn't figure out I think the two pages with the jewelry is a little bit too much don't love it but I didn't know what to do with it so I'm flipping through, flipping through, seeing what I need to cover. Most of this I covered already. The boxes of cigarettes, I just like the colors. Just like the colors. This is just so... Um, so fun. I just I just love this. Ooh, ooh. I loved um actually I was looking and looking for some uh washi tape that would be pretty with that and I'm really happy with what I picked out. It was just right. Just right. Love the little model I cut out with all the plastic around her dress. And just, uh, I just think uh, sometimes these, these magazines, I started, I, I ordered Harper's Bazaar. And um, when I was at the um, thrift store, I found another one that uh, I found a lot of these pages in that I just thought were just wonderful. Just um, beautifully photographed um, models and it, it just seemed a shame to to cut them up not sure what I'm going to do with um, with these pages if I'm going to leave them as is I, I'm just liking it as it is some of these have um
have some co- more collage work than others. And some of them are just full pages that I just pasted in. Just to soothe myself. Just for peace and 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 quiet. And it was um a a good a good thing for me. Um glue gluing just makes me feel happier. And even if even if it's not perfect, even if there's wrinkles in it, um these are pages that when I look at them I respond to and I think I'm not going to throw these pages away. I want to keep them. I want to look at them again. I want to look at them more than once. Now I put these little teeny tiny zippers over the um, text there. It just seems so appropriate for a fashion magazine to put these, cover that little tiny text with little teeny tiny zippers. And that's one of the... um, pages of stickers that I pulled out of the bins Um, not a perfect page of stickers and gosh didn't even know if I was going to even use them or not now this was fun I really I just thought you know I'm going to use some of my borders I wasn't happy with uh, the torn sections and I thought, you know, I'm going to add a little bit to this one. So this was kind of fun to play with. And I have this box full of my little corners and things that I've cut out. And I thought, who cares? Do I really care if they match? No. I'm just going to throw them on there to where it looks fun for me to how I like it. So um, so I grabbed um, a few and uh, kind of played with them a little bit. And I probably should have looked, I probably should have listened to this before. I, well, you know what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Just all those greens. I was going to use the other side, and then I thought the other one has the nicer greens to it that kind of blend with that. I like that. I like how I did that. That was um, That was really fun. I, I like how it turned out. And I thought, do I need more? Do I need more? And then I thought, oh, no, I kind of like it, just how it is. So that's as far as I went with that. Very little collaging, just very little collaging here, mostly just gluing, gluing. That one I had several, um, the, it says fabulous faces or f- fabulous at any age. So those are different ages and different uh, (laughs) children, (laughs) a monkey in a suit, so fun. And then it was a problem cutting. Um, I like the the saying at the top, but I didn't like the saying at the bottom. So I didn't like the ad at the bottom. So we're going to cover that up see how that goes and I had fun with this and and uh, wanted to um, wanted to make it a little bit different I find it almost a little disorienting to talk to me going so fast (laughs) but the video would be much 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 too long if I um, if I went in real time and too long of pauses and so forth so So this is just just things I liked. Uh, I like the pair of glasses. I put those with the hit the ground running. <laughs> the broken glasses with hit the ground running. <laughs> My little humor. And 
And as always, I'm just terrible about, um, uh, I get, I, when I work at night, I get this light on the page that I don't see when I'm working. I don't see all those wrinkles and all that glare. But it um, really shows up in the videos. Now, I glued in the, <clears throat> the page on the left, but the page on the right is part of the magazine I'm gluing in. So I'm leaving that as a page I'm keeping, and I'm not going to glue anything over that except covering up any words that I don't like. And um, I can't see when I'm recording this what I'm actually gluing over because um, because it has a, a recording sound thing that you can't really, that you can't see, but I can see. Yeah, I'm just throwing that out there, that little extra piece. Just for a little more color, a little more fun. The piece on the left, too, I really had a hard time with because I liked both sides of it so well. And I was just going to glue it in so that you could flip the page. But I decided not to. And picked, picked the one. Now, this is where I ended. Um, from doing the work I was doing in the living room. And I came in here and I grabbed another pile of, uh, I used up all my, all my pages. I was just so happy because you know how things just pile up and pile up and pile up and then you get too many and you never use it. And I feel like I'm using my stash up. I'm using my, my stash of papers. And truthfully, oh, <laughs> truthfully, if I if I want to, um, what I did is I put that away, and then I started um, uh, then I started working again. So oh, my son came in, and so that's when I took that took my camera down, and and now I'm starting to uh, do some gluing in the rest of the book because I brought the book in, and um, picked up another stack of papers that I've pulled out from before. Now, I keep forgetting <laughs> until I start gluing to um, to look and see what, what's on the other side of those. And these papers I pulled out of a different Harper's Bazaar. So these papers are the same size and I found they're just a little bit harder to glue. So I it was, um, it was a little bit harder to work with that. But yeah, yeah, I love this. But I had fun. I had fun with this. And, uh, and I turn it over and I think, oh, maybe I was saving that lady. Maybe I was saving her picture. Uh, some of these uh, pictures I was, was saving to um, to paint from and do the faces. Now, I loved this the art of the love story and I love the two um, all, all those splashes of color but I didn't know what and I didn't know what I wanted to use um, to cover up the other side so you know I've got some very interesting pages but boy uh, that was I ended up using well, I'll let you watch how I did it. <laughs> Since you can see how I did it. But every time I turned a page over, I thought, ooh, maybe I was going to use that <laughs> and not this. So it was very hard um, to decide. Uh, it's so hard when you have these magazines and you have great pictures on both sides. I'm just constantly feeling sad that I have to, uh, glue down one side of it <laughs> and I really don't I could leave them in magazines but you can't keep every magazine 
So I have to just pull out what I really like and glue them somewhere else. So this this was kind of fun anyway, and I just um, I just I did love it. I loved how this turned out. But I've um, been so busy this month, I haven't gotten to some of the things that I've been doing earlier before I went on my trip. And I still want to um, uh, I have I just have so many things that I need to do videos on that I uh, haven't been. Oh gosh, and here we go. <laughs> cannot get those uh, washi tape pieces. I can't, um, I've got, I've got, I've done my nails. I've gone ahead and done my nails again. They finally, finally grew all the way out. And um, after they had been uh, pulled off so badly um, last January, or last February, so, um, so I had my nails done, but, oh, I just hate to work with nails. I, I hate, I just, I love not having nails. I love just, um, being able to use my hands without having to, you know, work around these horrible old nails, but... It does look better, and I know it's awful to watch somebody working with very ugly hands. So hopefully I'll keep up with my nails and get used to it again. And there we are. I love that. I couldn't figure out what that thing is that I'm pointing to. Uh, it looks like a piece of candy, but I don't know what it is. Um, but I love the colors. I love the pink. I love the blues. I love the watch face. Um, so I knew I wanted to keep that page. So I didn't cover um, that page with anything other than um, covering up the text that I didn't like. And um, I I got all these new books with all this pattern paper uh at the um at the bins and so now i'm using that and uh well i'm i'm thinking oh now i've got more paper more paper i can't tell you how many books of pattern paper i have but i couldn't leave it i couldn't leave it to be just thrown out and burned it's just such beautiful, beautiful paper. It just gives me more options. So, I used to know. I, I started, um, uh, started hesitating about which sides to use again. And I turned it over to glue it. <laughs> I thought, whoa, I like that so much better. So... So anyway, so that was that was that. Isn't that neat? I just love that. So now here's the perfect example of the pages that need to be covered up. Covered up with something more fun and more interesting. Now these can be background pages. Or they can be just pages that I just want to look at. It's not making the book all that fat. So I'm really happy about that. Um, there won't be so much stress on the binding. And um, the Harper's Bazaar magazine is really bound very well. And has good quality pages. So, um, so I don't mind working in that. Now I had all that... all that text to deal with and the whole side of the paper so uh, I um, 
tore up some of some black and yeah, just just covered it up and just did a little bit of collaging there and uh better than the words better than the ads So, and look at that. I turn that over now and I see the other picture and I think that maybe was the picture I was going to keep. But, nope, I used that one. And you can't even see it because it's all uh, glowy, but it's a it's a solid black, very striking, and I like it. But when I look back at the other one, and I think, oh, she was very interesting. Now this is the washi tape. I just don't like it's shimmery, and you know I'm a I love anything shimmery. I love shimmery nails. I love shimmery, all that. I thought I would love it. I bought this washi tape, and I just don't love it. But it looks it looks pretty good. <laughs> I'm going to struggle. I am going to struggle, struggle, struggle to open this up. But the shimmer does look good on these uh, black pages with the bright um, neon. And I'm just struggling. <laughs> Finally, finally. But since this is just for me, I just, I just play. I just play, and who cares if it uh, if it looks funny, if it doesn't? I don't really care. I just like to, I just like to play, and I and I love, um, I love looking at them later. I'll flip through this a, a hundred times, and um, enjoy it every bit as much the last time as I do the first. And every time I flip through it, I'll stick something new in it. Do you find that you do that uh, when you're looking through your glue books, that you keep adding to it, adding to it, adding to it? I do final flip-throughs on mine, but they're never final. <laughs> they're, they're never finished books. Every time I'm looking at them, I'm, uh, I'm adding to them. There. That wor works. Isn't that funny how the one picture didn't work at all, and now this one works just perfectly? I love it. Just happy, happy, happy. And I'm happy to be using my purple glue instead of the horrible sticky glue, which I used at the beginning. Because I've got to use it up. I've got, I used up almost a tube of glue earlier. And I've got still two more tubes of this horrible sticky glue that I hate. Um... And then, um, then I'm done. Done, done, done. So I had a good time with my sister. Um, she was here and we kept uh, going to the uh, Goodwill bins and we kept shopping. We kept finding tons and tons of stuff. Uh, it's just been so much fun. She has instituted a little afternoon. She says what they do 
her and her boyfriend, what they do every day to wind down is they have a little plate of hors d'oeuvres and a little, um, glass of wine. And that signals that it's the evening and it's, uh, the day is done, the day is over. And that, so we did that every day. That was, that was really fun. I just very much enjoyed that. Um, I can't do that on a regular basis. Uh, I don't think it's um, good for me to to have a glass of wine every day. So um, I will do that on occasion. Now, oh, I just I started gluing this, and I'm thinking I wish I'd have kept the product, lady. Although I do love those shoes and that puppy. That's a Staffordshire dog, I believe. So, anyway, you can see kind of how fast I'm working in this book. Um, it's not as fast as you're seeing, but I did all of this in, in just a day. Oh, this page. I didn't want to cover up this page. I love this page. I love... Um, now, this is the page on the right, and I love the section on the left, except for the little section of writing. But I love all the stuff on, in the section on the left. It's much more colorful than you can see here. And I think, what can I do to cover up just the right? What do I have? What do I have? Couldn't find the right thing. So I gave up. And um, I think I went back to it later. <laughs> and I still gave up. And I haven't put anything over it. So it is still the way it is. I can't decide whether to cut this ring out. Because I love emeralds. I love emeralds much more than I love diamonds. Or any other gemstone. Emeralds are my very favorite. Rubies are nice, too. I like rubies. Rubies and emeralds. I keep de can't decide, can't decide, can't decide. So I'm gone. I've got those giant scissors, and they're heavy. And they're not really the ones I want to use. See, I can pull that out, but it just I didn't want to put it in sideways. I just haven't found the right piece for it. So I think instead of putting the wrong piece on, let's just move on. Just move on and and do something else and don't agonize because the right piece will come along. I'll have scraps and I'll have different things and I'm just gonna um I'm just gonna I'll find the right thing, trust me. I left the horoscope. I decided I wanted to keep the horoscope there just for um General principles, because this is for August of 2019, and I wanted to uh, to leave it there. I don't really believe in horoscopes, but I find them kind of fascinating to read because, truthfully, the way they're written is just about anything will work, will fit into that, and anybody can fit into just about any month but I kind of like to see how I fit in with my month and I'm a Gemini and <laughs> I do feel like like I'm two different people sometimes I just um I I'm just so so opposite sometimes sometimes I'm just quiet and and introverted and other times I'm just so animated and outgoing it's um I do feel like I'm I'm two different people when I'm uh when I look at the uh when I think about my my horoscope so I claim the birthstone of May as my birthstone emerald but because my 
birth sign of Gemini is from May 21st to June 21st. It's really the June birthstone that I should be claiming the pearl, but I don't have any connection to pearl. I feel connected to the emerald. So I, I've i always claimed the emerald as my birthstone and Gemini is my uh, star sign. And... Um, and I, I don't read my horoscope every day, but if I run across the horoscopes in a magazine like that, I do read them. And I do like fortune cookies, which uh, I've uh, had a lot of fun with fortune cookies, uh, those ones that I've been pulling out. And I should pull out one, but I don't think... Um, But I don't think I will add that to this to this video. Yeah, I like using things sideways. Gives it a whole different look. Look at that hair. Isn't that just fabulous hair on her? Well, I think I'm a little bit envious just because my hair is getting thin. I'm so old anymore. Um, just the idea of having all that hair just seems fabulous, except for the fact that I don't like to deal with it. <laughs> that would be um, so hard to take care of. Oh, that pink was perfect. And I do like that because you can see kind of the blue coming through it. So it's not like a bold, bold pink. It's just uh, just the right kind of pink. I got a little pucker in there and I could not get it out for the life of me. But you know what? I'm just going to live with it. And I may put something over that. I'll just I'll just find something to put over that. Not today. But anyway, that's just about as far as I got. Although I I know I did put um you know what that looks to me like Julia Roberts on the on the that picture there. Not that that picture. That looks like Julia Roberts to me. So I didn't know what to do with her. Um I didn't want to. I didn't want to cover these up. I love the hair. Um, <laughs> I keep throwing that picture, that ring. There's a couple of rings I really feel like I should just cut out. I really don't want them on those on those pages like that. Not happy with the jewelry. You know what? I think it's because I don't really love jewelry. Um. I don't wear any jewelry hardly. And and I only wear this clunky watch because it um it's so handy. I love um I love having the time right there, the temperature. Um it'll tell me what my next event is going to be. Um it's just so handy having that watch, but it's just so clunky and ugly. Uh, especially on my wrist. I'm just going to trim up some of these pages here, as you can see. But, um, so I think I'm in kind of a melancholy mood. Uh, I've just not, um, just haven't been able to process the fact that we had uh, a shooting here in Dayton and in a place that I love, uh, the Oregon District. I go there a lot. There's a there's a goodwill there, and I've been there several times. And it's it's just a half a block from my post office, so I travel through there all the time. And I'm just so sad that something awful has happened there. It's just. Um, it's just so sad. I'm so, I'm so happy that nothing happened to Dan. Um, 
he was the drummer in my son's band and um the boys were in the high school marching band together uh he's such a totally different kid than the than the band kid <laughs> just uh always always uh, noticed him. The interesting thing about Dan, too, is um, he has the same birthday as my son. Now, see, I turned that over, and I just think, oh, I was going to use that other lady. It wasn't this one I was going to use at all. I love the lady with the glasses, but this turned out nice. I like how that turned out. So, um, but Dan and James had the same birthday, and they were both born here in Dayton, um, just hours apart and in two different hospitals. But it's um, interesting to see that they, um, they were in the same band together. Uh, Dan and James and... Chris founded the band and then added the other three. See now, I keep turning the pages and finding little places where that glue wasn't quite dry and it was sticking. I'm just rambling. I'm just rambling on. I hope you guys aren't too bored. Hopefully I'll have uh, a little bit better um, better um chat next time but I'm just trying to process things today and trying to be now I don't like the cover of the magazine particularly and I don't want it for my cover but that picture is a full page picture inside the magazine farther back that we haven't gotten to yet so I don't mind covering it but it just doesn't seem right to use that paper that paper seems too light and fluffy for the sophisticated pictures in the magazine. So I'm going to have to try and do something else with it. Um, yeah, I kind of thought that Harper's Bazaar uh, vintage look would be fun. But I don't want to use that either because, again, it's not sophisticated. So I'm just leaving it and I'm probably about done. So I'm going to say goodbye and thank you very much for watching and uh, thank you uh, new subscribers for coming back and for commenting and I'm just going to pile up all my stuff here and, and, uh, and clean up my mess because my, my camera is running and you'll see me just kind of straightening up and putting things away. But, um, but hopefully you'll hit the like button. Hopefully you'll give me a comment. Hopefully you'll share, um, this and hopefully, um, if you're not a subscriber, you'll subscribe and ring that little button so that it'll, uh, or ring the little bell so that it will, uh, alert you to when the new video comes.